In Greenville, after an EF2 tornado touched down Saturday night, we can show you what the, the damage looked like after the store rolled in. 7 News reporter Henry Coburn joining us from Greenville. He has the latest look at that. Henry. Yeah, that's right. This was an EF2 tornado. 115 mile per hour winds, almost a quarter of a mile wide, causing damage throughout many neighborhoods in Greenville, including this one. You can see downed trees, damaged homes, and the cleanup effort is ongoing. The massive storm blew through Greenville on Saturday night. We're told it was a frightening experience. First the rain, then the hail. But then the twister arrived. I thought the roof was going to come off of our home. It sounded like a freight train. And as that freight train barreled down its five and a half mile long path, it knocked over trees, took power from businesses and houses, and damaged homes. Susan Bikus and her sister Peggy McAllister were in their home when the twister touched down. She opened up the door to see the hail and then it stopped and she opened it up again and you could hear it at that point. The trees were open the door the second time. The trees were just like going sideways. I heard that sound and I smacked the door shut and run. Thankfully, the terrifying storm was short lived. It was gone as fast as it came on us. And when it was over, we opened up the door and we were in a jungle. And in the middle of that jungle is their now majorly damaged home. Now the sounds of generators, work trucks, and chainsaws have taken over the neighborhood. Bika says the twister downed seven large trees on the property. Well, we never got any sun out here. It was all shade. So we have two white oaks left standing. Now, the people who live here that I've spoken with tell me that they're happy that nobody was injured or killed in this tornado. In Greenville, Henry Coburn, 7 News.